Hello everyone and welcome to our What's New webinar on the latest release of Cortona 3D software. We are thrilled to have you all join us today and learn about our exciting new updates and enhancements that we have made. Our team have been working hard to bring you the best possible user experience and we can't wait to share them with you. In this webinar we will be discussing major new features, improvements and changes. Whether you are the first time user of Cortona 3D software or a seasoned pro, you will gain valuable insights into how the latest updates can benefit you and your workflow. A couple of admin points. You can post your questions as we go within Q&A chat. We will have a separate Q&A session in the end of this webinar when we will answer them. Recording of this webinar will be available shortly on our YouTube channel. We are excited to announce a major new feature in Rapid Catalog – automatic generation of IPC pages upon import of CAD data. With this new feature you can quickly generate a comprehensive parts catalog saving you time and effort in manual editing. Given that parts list table can also be automatically generated upon import based on items present on each IPC page, this gives you a powerful tool allowing to create parts catalogs automatically with little manual effort. Here we see a project as it would appear right after import of CAD data with import profile configured for this new functionality. There are several IPC pages and for each page there is its own set of activated DPL routes, all done automatically upon import. IPC pages are generated based on data structure. The general concept is that for each assembly in item tree and you IPC page is generated depicting components of that assembly. You can define how each page should be called, for instance that could be assembly's name or part number, and if required it is possible to limit depth of IPC pages or to omit empty assemblies. Then, for each generated IPC page, associated DPL rows are also automatically activated. You have certain flexibility to decide how you want DPL rows to be activated. You may want to activate just child items of the assembly, or assembly and its child items, or higher up the structure parent assemblies and all the child items. As to display of 3D items, only relevant 3D items will be shown on each IPC page, but you can enable semi-transparent display of other items or sibling items, so that the end user is able to comprehend relative position of different assemblies. Finally, it is possible to define projection type and some common viewpoint for all your IPC pages. Of course, you can set individual viewpoints for your IPC pages manually after import. It goes without saying that you can manually edit pretty much everything, be that IPC pages, activated DPL rows, or 3D items afterwards, after imports, if required. Keep in mind that this new mechanism will not generate exploded views, cross sections or 2D illustrations for you. You still need to manually author them after import. In order to make use of this enhancement, you need Rapid Developer Suite to create a custom import profile. Another enhancement for IPC pages input. As you may know, parts list table in Rapid Catalog can be populated in several ways CAD file, manual entry, or Excel files. With Excel input, it is, for instance, possible to define rows of your table, IPC pages, define which DPL rows should be activated on each page, and to specify where the images should be imported as well. Several versions ago, we also had the possibility to link 3D items with DPL rows imported from Excel by a common identifier such as a path number. In this release, we added quite useful feature so that the user can define hierarchy of IPC pages rather than generating flat list of IPC pages. Hierarchy should be defined on the worksheet called Pages in the third column.
Excel templates for several specifications are included with Rapid Catalog and can be found by clicking Show Templates in Rapid Generator Excel Plugin Settings dialog. Another new useful authoring enhancement is a feature called Context Geometry, which is used to reuse 3D geometry stored in a special Rapid Author project located in Team Center. To use this, you first create a special Carton 3D geometry context item in Team Center into which you input the required geometry, the one that you would like to reuse after in other projects. Rapid Illustrator tool is used here. Inside the project, you can create different geometry configurations. For this, you use different pages in Rapid Illustrator. Each configuration will be accessible in other projects. Once you finish with your context geometry item, you can reuse it in any authoring tool except for Rapid Text. In this example, I have item storing Rapid Catalog project, where I would like to reuse context geometry previously created. Please note that the specification and the information standard is not relevant here. This feature works with all of them. To use this, go to File, Add Context Geometry. Here you can perform a search for items storing context geometry and for specific geometry configurations previously created in Rapid Illustrator context geometry item. There are several use cases for this functionality. Firstly, you could use it to create a lightweight model, which can be used across different projects to illustrate outer shell of your assembly, as in this example. Secondly, this can be used as 3D asset library for different tools, in case conventional Rapid Auto object library is not sufficient for you. In this release, we added a new command called unmerge, which is the opposite for merge command. Merge command is used to combine multiple items into a single one, which can be used to reduce complexity of item tree, for example. With unmerge command, you can split 3D item into its constituent objects that were previously merged inside Rapid Author, or even those that were merged prior to input into Rapid Author, i.e. in CAD editor, although the latter one might not work in all cases. It is quite common when you have different sources of CAD data that some items will come as merged. This may pose a problem in case you need to animate certain components in Rapid Manual or to create exploded view in Rapid Catalog, for example. Unmerge command can help you with that. In this release, several new 3D-related publishing options were added. These options can aid you in selecting 3D items and distinguishing them from others. Some of these new options also improve quality of 3D models in general. First new option, called Selection Mode, controls how selected 3D items are depicted. This could be highlighting with color. This was the only mode previously available. X-ray views. and translucent shell. Second new option allows to add an additional outline when mouse cursor is hovering over 3D item. This option is compatible with all three of the previously mentioned selection modes. Third new option allows to toggle on or off ambient occlusion, which is responsible for shades. Ambient occlusion was available in HTML publications previously, however, in this release we also added an explicit option to enable and disable it. And finally, anti-aliasing control is also provided. Anti-aliasing smooths sharp edges of 3D items and greatly improves quality of 3D, however, at the cost of performance, which can be noticeable with large projects. All of the mentioned options can be set within Publish Options dialog of Rapid Author as well as by the end user within settings of HTML publication. Settings set within Publish Options dialog will be the default settings when end user launches HTML publication. All of the mentioned new options are available across different Rapid Author tools that involve 3D, that is, Rapid Manual, Rapid Catalog, Rapid Learning, and Rapid Illustrator.
A few improvements in HTML publications user interface. New restore all button quickly resets any transparency or visibility adjustments previously made by the user. You will also see some controls rearranged, for better clarity. There is also a new hidden control, allowing you to replay transition between the root and the current page. As you may know, when navigating between pages in Rapid Catalog HTML publications, smooth animated transition is played. When such transition is highly complex, user may want to slowly replay and pause this transition. S1000D is a standard for technical publications. It specifies a common structure and format for technical documentation, including maintenance manuals, repair manuals, and other types of technical documentation. One important element of S1000D is the concept of applicability. Applicability refers to specific products or systems that are covered by a particular technical publication. Applicability helps to ensure that maintenance and repair tasks are performed correctly and that technicians have access to the appropriate information for the specific products or systems they are working on. RapidAuthor uses advanced capabilities for applicability to allow for complex applicability statements permissible by the ES1000D. Applicability can be in scope of the entire data module or for a specific substructure within a data module. For example, a certain paragraph of text may be marked as applicable only to a specific model or variant of a product or only to a particular maintenance procedure. This allows organizations to create technical documentation that is tailored to specific products or tasks and ensures that users have access to the most relevant and accurate information for their needs. Another key aspect of applicability in S1000D is the use of conditional processing instructions to specify when a particular element should be included or excluded from the final documentation. Conditional processing instructions allow authors to create complex logic statements that determine whether a line, for example, should be included based on a variety of factors such as product being used, the task being performed, or the user's role or level of expertise. This enables organizations to create dynamic documentation that can be customized for different audiences or situations. RapidAuthor already supports data module-wide as well as substructure-specific applicability. In HTML publications, you can already exclude or include substructures based on applicability. In this release, we added support for applicability cross-reference tables, ACTs, and product cross-reference tables, PSTs. These tables allow to set more complex applicability mechanisms for different product configurations. Previously, ACTs and PSTs data modules could be created in rapid text, but they were not used in applicability engine. Product cross-reference tables can now be used to filter individual data modules or entire content in publication modules in HTML publications, as well as in PDF preview mode. With the growing demand for augmented reality content, this new release provides new enhancements and possibilities to create IR content to use it in third-party applications. For instance, augmented reality extensions and generation of X3D file are now supported by most procedural specifications. In addition to that, a third-party TeamViewer special editor can be accessed from RapidAuthor client for active workspace. Let's now proceed to the Cartona 2D Editor Pro. A small but rather useful improvement with the Fill tool. A new shortcut allows to exclude certain enclosed areas from the final fill figure. To do that, draw a regular fill figure and without releasing it, hold Ctrl button to exclude an area or Shift to add it back. Previously, to achieve the same result, it was necessary to use multiple fill figures or other walkarounds.
Cortana 2D Editor Pro now supports basic raster editing. Only a few basic tools are available, such as pencil, line, eraser and color picker. Additional properties such as brush size and setting color is also available. To edit raster element, either double click on it or right click edit image or use keyboard shortcut. Raster editing in its current implementation can be used to do very simple manipulations with raster images inside CGM files. For instance, if you import legacy drawings, you can now easily remove all callouts using eraser and add CGM callouts on top of raster. Your parametric callouts will include hotspot functionality, support, update and so on. A new property called Color Tone is available in the property inspector for solid field figures. This can be used to create gradients and for certain printing requirements. In this example, the same color code is used. However, all five boxes use different color tone value ranging from 100% to 0 as seen in the property inspector window. Another enhancement in Cartona 2D Editor Pro is a new merge command. Merging can be applied to two or more enclosed figures. Five different merging modes are provided. To merge, select two or more figures and go to Object Menu – Merge. Please note that it is the lower figure in the Meta File Explorer window that acts as a reference object for coloring, outlines and other properties. In this release, we continue to expand integration with Team Center Active Workspace web based client to reduce reliance on Rich Client. It is now possible to perform basic authoring commands such as opening service requirement object or workout object for editing, importing, updating, or distributing to CMS. Let's now talk about data import. Release 14.2 supports the following new versions of CAD format. Please note that Rapid Data Converter for Team Center should be installed and licensed in order to import these formats. This concludes the main part of our webinar. You can find information on other small changes in this release on our website under Resources Release Notes page. Feel free to visit our YouTube channel. In recent days we prepared videos covering some of the new features that you have seen today. Please be advised that all Carton 3D products come with extensive documentation. Documentation is available in the form of PDF documents and embedded help, which are accessible from all of the authoring tools via Help, Help, Contents menu. We also have online knowledge base on our website covering typical issues that some of our users encounter, as well as help articles. Now it is time for questions and answers part of our webinar. You can post your questions within Q&A chat. We kindly ask you to raise questions specifically related to the new features that you have seen today. First question that we got, uh, what augmented reality third-party applications are now preferred? Uh, well, uh, we support export of X3D data from most uh, rapid manual procedural specifications and there is a native integration with uh, TeamViewer from Active Workspace. Another question, will there be any automatic shading capability for creating 2D images from 3D items? Uh, well, when you create a raster illustration from what you have in your 3D view with the Rapid Author 3D window, if you have uh, uh, shading enabled, uh, you will see shade. So uh, whatever is in the view will get into your raster image. Another question, is the IPC pages functionality supported for standards? With generic, I was able to make use of it, but with S1000D, it only showed the top node for the pump. Well, uh, depending really what uh, IPC pages functionality you mean. In this release, we added two. The first uh, relates to the generation of pages based on the cut data structure that you imported. The second one is IPC pages 
structure from Excel file. Uh, in both, in, in the first case, uh, the specification is not relevant. It is import profile, which takes care uh, of the import uh, with the Excel uh, imports of the hierarchy of IPC pages. It is indeed tied to the specification. You just have to use the appropriate template for your Excel file. I have a cut package of uh, two gigabytes in rapid manual but not able to preview in HTML, could you please suggest any tips to reduce the weight of HTML? Well, if you leave us your email or reach us at support at carton3d.com, we'll give you a few uh, guides, guidelines on how to improve uh, performance and reduce the package size. Another question, I don't think that's related to what's new. If we use animate camera around the object action, rapid menu will get the correct animation. Uh, I see you have an issue here. Uh, please reach us again at support carton 3 d comment. Uh, we'll surely help you in that. And the question here, uh, what functionality will be supported by, you mentioned rapid developer. Well, a rapid developer is, uh, is a quite old product already. It's been uh, for many, around for many years. Uh, it deals with the uh, from. It deals with the customization of the import settings as well as specification templates. What version of Active Workspace is needed for uh, the new service plan integration? Uh, well, the testing of the new functionality that you've seen today was done on Active Workspace 6.2. Which team center versions are supported for the latest Rapid Auth release 14.2? Uh, team center 13.0 and 14.2. If we have a harness uh, which will be flowing on the vehicle since harness length is big and static, how can we achieve flexible flexibility? I believe for harness and rapid manual similar to process simulate or IPS. Uh, well, a few versions ago, uh, we added flexible objects to the object gallery of Rapid Author. And there you will find, for instance, a hose spline, uh, which, which can be attached to static objects. Uh, the hose can act as a flexible object. So you can replicate your hardness there using object gallery. By using version 13, is there any option to enable switch command in procedure editor? Uh, that command is not available in that version. How to disable zoom in, zoom out in HTML output if we use animate the camera action? Um, perhaps my colleagues will uh, assist me in this, but uh, as far as I recall, uh, we don't have uh, ready made publish options for that. Another question from the same user, I believe, relating to the host spline and harness. Uh, if you do have uh, problems, please reach us at support at carton3d.com. Uh, I don't think we can help you with that right now. Could uh, the IPC generation be extended to PLM XML functionality for TC connectivity to regain NX model use? Uh, we received such request already, uh, maybe from you even, and uh, this is currently being investigated whether it is possible to import model views when the import is done from PLM XML file. Which output is superior, HTML or PDF? Well, HTML is uh, fully interactive uh, output format, so uh, it goes without saying that it provides much more uh, immersive experience when the uh, user uh, plays back the procedure in it rather than uh, reading uh, text only PDF documents. A question on the apparent problem on the 3D mouse compatibility with the rapid author. Uh, again, uh, this question is not really related to this webinar. So for any specific problems, please reach out to us. 
and we'll deal with that directly. How to highlight holes of features in Rapid Manual? Uh, well, for that, so you could try different methods. For instance, you can make use of objects uh, you can find in the object gallery, for instance, arrows and those kind of things. Uh, from a data security standpoint, which is better, HTML or PDF? Well, as uh, we commented a bit earlier, uh, these two formats uh, serve quite different purposes. PDF is for conventional way of representing technical documentations, whereas HTML is uh, our uh, Carton 3D uh, approach, uh, standard one. Uh, so uh, from security standpoint, these are very different means of delivering information. Can we identify any interference or thread mismatch or any plan to release this in the future coming days. Uh, well, we do not have a collision detection within Rapid Author, so these kind of things are not provided. Uh, the Rapid Author suite primar primarily is used to produce technical documentation, not to design 3D data in the first place. For that, uh, you need to make use of native features you find in a standard uh, conventional card editors where you will certainly find uh, these kind of features such as collision detection, interference, thread mismatch, kinematics, and so on. Uh, Rapid Author does not have that. Uh, will the actions implemented using items in object gallery be viewable in 3D PDF output? Uh, the most uh, parametric objects that you find in object gallery, they're not compatible with 3D PDF. 3D PDF format is very limited in what it can do. So consider using HTML output instead. What are the ways to insert 2D image in Rapid Menu, uh, whether 2D image inserted will be supported by 3D PDF? Uh, well, there are two ways to insert 2D image in Rapid Menu. Firstly, you could insert external image from your file system or from Team Center if you have configuration configured. Uh, second option is to generate 2D image from uh, your geometry, either back to raster illustration. Uh, as to 3D PDF, uh, now depends on the specification that you have. Uh, some specifications, as far as I recall, uh, they support images within 3D PDF. Is there a free training program available for Rapid Manual? Uh, you can reach out to us. The training program is available. Again, support at carston3d.com. Unable to change uh, the thickness of the call outline, is there any option to edit uh, the call outline uh, or explode lines? Uh, these are one pixel width uh, objects and this property fortunately cannot be changed. If, uh, right, I, I think I shall correct my answer. Uh, I, uh, the answer that I given that's relating to the 3D callouts. I, if you refer to the callouts on the 2D images, then indeed you can change the width. Uh, there is a set of settings available in the options dialog. Team Center supports HTML. Could you please suggest whether it can be downloaded, forwarded to anyone so that uh, they can easily access the data? How can we arrest security issues for HTML since it can be accessed offline and when using secret data? Uh, well, I think there are two questions here. Uh, if you'd like to forward the HTML output, then you just download the data set, uh, the HTML bundle, and then give it to your end clients to access. You can upload them. You can upload those files to a web server and give them a regular URL link or just send them files directly and they can launch them directly from their file system. As to the security issues, uh, it's not quite clear what you mean by that. Uh, again, could you reach out to us by email and we'll help you with that. 
and understand your concerns. While using rapid menu, we tried section plane method. It trims entire card as per our need. Highlight that part alone won't be sectioned. Uh, in rapid menu, there are two ways to trim things. First is to use the section planes, and sec uh, second is to uh, use the uh, special tool from the edit menu. Basically, uh, for both methods, uh, there there are ways to exclude unnecessary items from being sectioned. Uh, in case with uh, the section plane method, uh, there is a section shield object in the object gallery which can be used to exclude unnecessary items. We have an option to view, I believe this is a question, do we have an option to use of sages for selected items only, remaining unselected items will be shown without of sages. Uh, currently this is not provided, you either have of sages for all your 3D items or for none of them, at least in the standard out of the box rapid auto. Is there any possibility action to insert e-files condition within procedure editor? Well, in recent uh, rapid mail uh, versions, uh, you will see uh, the condition switch, uh, which you can use to uh, basically create branches of your procedure. But uh, this uh, is uh, very basic in its current implementation. Uh, this is the same feature which was always available, by the way, in rapid learning. In rapid manual, what type of API or macro can be used? Liz, my colleague, suggested uh, Visual Basic JavaScript macros are supported in the tools menu. Uh, when can we expect version 14.3? Typically, we release uh, one version, winter time, and the other, summer time. Is there new option to import? customized 3D circle in object gallery like animated arrow. Uh, you can certainly import and store your custom 3D objects, uh, but uh, they obviously won't have any special properties. Uh, for that, uh, you need uh, to reach out to us so that uh, we develop customized objects. Rapid manual, is there any option to change font style, size, like other applications? Uh -huh. Well, depends what kind of output uh, you refer to here. Uh, it's all uh, really down to the specification. It defines the look and feel of your output. And if you need to customize that, uh, for instance, in uh, HTML output, then uh, you need uh, one of our customization tools, which are available in order to change those look and feel things. Certain sizing uh, properties of text can be changed, by the way, uh, from the document editor directly, uh, but not the font style, font family. And this uh, refers, as, uh, what, I, what I mentioned, refers to document editor specifically. Where can we find the previously mentioned Taurus object and what it means, in which version can we find it? Uh, well, my colleague meant uh, the, the object which you can find in the object gallery, uh, side panel on the right hand side of your rapid manual. Uh, in recent versions, we added a few more objects, so it uh, depends what uh, release you are on so make sure to update to the latest one there you will find uh, Taurus object and many others that we recently added as far as i can see there are no further questions i hope you learned uh, a lot in this uh, webinar and you will find the new features quite useful um, thank you for joining uh, if you have any questions remaining please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you and goodbye.